everyone, my name is Heba and welcome back. Shokin and I, we have a black tie event to go to tonight, so I thought I might do a get ready with me. See if I can do a nighttime glamorous evening look. The event is called Wish Night and it's for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And I am a wish granter for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. I've been a wish granter for them since 2006. And I'll get more into it as I'm applying the makeup so I don't waste too much time. But yes, tonight we're going to Wish Night for Make-A-Wish Foundation. Let me show you the dress that I'm wearing. Let me get it real quick. So here is what the dress looks like. I'll put a picture, a full picture of what it looks like on a model. It does have a v-neck, which is good for me. And the sleeves is see-through. I don't know if you can see that it has that um, tool, I guess that's what it's called. And that up close, I hope you can see the beading. And it does have like loose petals and this is what the inside and the outside of the dress looks like but it does have the tool overlay kind of like of what's on the sleeves is over this dress this fabric right here it does have a side slit which is really nice and that's what it looks like inside and then here is what it looks like outside so it does have that tool overlay but at the end of this video i'll put a picture of me with a full face of makeup my hair done with the dress on and the shoes can't forget the shoes but this is such a pretty dress, and it is the Make-A-Wish color. It's very similar to the Make-A-Wish blue. So let me go ahead and put this dress up so we can start putting on makeup. I did bring here three palettes, and I think I'm going to use a shade here, a shade there. I don't think I'm going to do a full-on blue look. I just want something classy, something elegant, and something glamorous. So one of the eyeshadow palettes is this one by Byredo, the Flora Kalahari palette. So here's what this palette looks like, and I know I want to use this shade Burnt Umber. This is my favorite shade. I think that can warm up the look. Now, I have something in mind. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it, but let's just press on. And the other is a signature palette from vanity makeup. And I think I want to use some of these diamond shades, these diamond crystal shades here. And maybe this one. And the other one that I have is by Pat McGrath and this is Midnight Sun. I know I'm going to use the black shade and maybe one of the Bliss Astral shades here. But yeah, those are the three palettes that I pulled and hopefully I can make a nice look. Let me go ahead and prime my eyes, pull you in closer and we'll go from there. Prime my eyes with the Hourglass Eyeshadow Primer, and as you can see, I did put an eye mask here. And this is by Trish McAvoy. It's the Instant Solution Triangle of Light Eye Mask. I figured this is perfect because it does have that straight line, and hopefully it will moisture underneath my eyes because it's going to be a long night. So I need all the help I can get. Try to put some of the serum in the inner corner because I did kind of push it out some so it can give me that straight line. So let's use the Byredo palette and this light shade clay. Let me use that first. Now, as I said, I've been a wish granter for Make-A-Wish since 2006. And some of y'all may already know this. I don't know how to say this outright, but Shokin and I, we did lose two children. Amanda when she was two and a half years old in 1991 and our son Adam when he was 14 years old in 2005. And I don't have many pictures of Amanda because we were young and we didn't have any money and we didn't have many pictures. But whenever I hold up my phone for time you always see Adam. He's there in the red and this was the last picture that I have of all of them together. Our other two children, Christian and Luke, and I'm sure you've heard me mention them many times. We have two children here on earth and two children watching over us in heaven. That's what I always like to say. Another thing that I always like to say is that this body gave birth to four kids so that's why it is what it is so Adam passed away in 2005 and 2006 that's when I got involved with Make-A-Wish Foundation Adam did have cerebral palsy and he couldn't walk he couldn't talk he couldn't feed himself and towards the end of his life we had to put a feeding tube because he wasn't able to swallow once he got older but he was very small for his age he only weighed about 24 pounds yes and he was 14 years old we've taken him to disney a couple times and his body was just Relax whenever we're there. And we've always seen Make-A-Wish kids there. And honestly, he could have qualified for a wish, but we thought we'd be taking away a wish from someone else who needed it. Adam, he always got pneumonia, but usually we would just give him some antibiotics and his body would just get right back. But in 2005, his body just gave out. So I don't want to make this a sad video. And our daughter Amanda, again, she passed away when she was two and a half in 1991. She was going into surgery for glaucoma and her heart stopped during surgery. But again, I don't want to make this a sad video. Let's make this happy, put on some makeup, and get all dressed up. So when Adam passed, in 2005 and 2006, when I started to feel, starting to feel a little bit better, I wanted to do something for Adam. And since he loved Disney, and we've always seen Wish Kids at Disney, I called up Make-A-Wish and we wanted to help sponsor a child to go to Disney World, specifically to go to Disney World, and we could do that. And then I asked, well, what else do y'all need? And they said, well, how would you like to be a Wish Granter? And I said, 
done. I would love to be a wish granter. So what the wish granter does is we meet with the family, we meet with the child to see what his wish would be. It could be, I want to wish to go someplace, I want to meet someone, I want to have something, I want to be an astronaut, anything, whatever the child wants, within reason, of course. And actually about 80% of my wishes are Disney wishes. So I've been a wish granter now since 2006, so 16 years, wow. And I've granted over 60 wishes here. And let me tell you, meeting with the family and meeting with the wish child is just so rewarding, so rewarding. Now let's go into this shade from Pat McGrath, this light brown shade. Place that in my crease and in the outer corner. So then we started going to wish night maybe 10 years ago. So it's so fun. You dress up. Shoki gets to wear his tux. And there's wish kids there too. They're going around selling teddy bears for like $25. I'm sure it's going to be more now. But they go around and say, would you like to buy a teddy bear? And it's like, yes, we would love to buy a teddy bear. And then they also have auction items like trips, jewelry, sports memorabilia. And the most important thing in the auction is wish art. Wish art made by wish kids. And that, the bidding war starts. So we'll see what kind of art we can find there. So we can't wait to bid on some wish art. We have some wish art here at home and my husband has some in his office. Now the last time we've been to wish night was in 2018. In 2019 it just happened to be the same day as our daughter's wedding. So we didn't go and then of course 2020 and then 2021. Y'all know the story. So this is the first year back and we're very excited about it. First we didn't think we we're gonna go but I think we we really wanted to go. We really needed to go. So for the past two years, I've only granted one wish. And actually it was kind of the spillover from before the lockdowns happened. And luckily it wasn't a travel wish. It was a kind of a pimp my ride type of a thing. So he had a truck and what Make-A-Wish did is they redid the interior of it. Not the engine, but the interior of it. And if I could find that video of that wish reveal, I'll link it down below for you guys. But it was awesome. He was excited about it. I mean, his mom and dad too. Just so fun. It's just so fun to do. Let's go back to the Byredo palette. And I think I am going to put some blue in here. This one under the C. Just going to use my finger and just place that in the outer corner. Just to give me some deepness and some blue here. And then since then, I haven't granted any wishes. Now before the lockdowns happened, I had, I believe, five or six kids waiting for their wishes. One of them was to go to Hawaii. One was to go on a cruise to the Bahamas. One was the Pimp My Ride. And then I had three. I had three to go to Disney that wished to go to Disney. I already granted one, one who wanted his truck redo. And then the others are all waiting for their wishes. They still haven't gone on their wishes yet. I know it's been two years, but with everything going on, I think the family decided to wait until things kind of settled down. Now I want to go into this taupey diamond shade. Let me make sure my finger's clean and use my finger and place that in the center of my eye and more in toward, towards the inside. <laughs> I couldn't speak there. Let's put you all the way to the inner corner. So those families are still waiting for their wishes to be granted. So hopefully going to wish night will help fund those wishes. And I love being a wish granter. It is just so fulfilling. So fulfilling. Now let's go back to Byredo and Burnt Umber. Love the shade. This one I'm just going to put it above the blue shade under the C and in the outer corner. Just to add some warmth to this look. And it does kind of feel good to get all dressed up, wearing a long evening gown and my husband wearing a tuxedo. So it's gonna be fun. It's so much needed. Now some of the other wishes that I've granted, I think the most interesting one was, and we're still friends with the family, back in I believe 2007 or 2008, he wanted to see the last space shuttle launch. Make-A-Wish was able to fly him out to see the last space shuttle launch and it was the last evening launch. Yeah, it wasn't the last space shuttle launch, but it was the last one that they launched at night and they postponed it and they postponed it they postponed it we finally got him there and he was able to see it and it was just so spectacular he was just to the moon and they would just send us pictures just warms your heart I mean there's no words for that we've also done several room redos and with that one we don't do any construction we just repaint the room and then I would show the child you know give her like an option of three different bedroom furnitures and whichever one the child wanted we would order it and then we would find out what their favorite 
favorite color is. So then we'll get bedding and accessories for the room. I did a Hannah Montana one, you remember that? Wow, that's a blast from the past. I did a camo room. I did a princess room. It's just, it's just so fun. The Your imagination is endless with this. And we did a couple of shopping sprees. And let me tell you, that can be exhausting. That's, that's exhausting, but it's so fun for the child. Let me go back with that blue shade and just kind of build it up here. You know what, I think I'm gonna use the black shade from Vanity Makeup, because I like this one better. It's not as cool. I think the camera turned off while I was putting this black shade in the outer corner. So I just placed it right there. Not too much. Now let me get the first brush and just blend everything out up there. So I wonder what would happen if I apply this shade from Pat McGrath, this Bliss Astral shade. Let me just do a little bit in the center, add some pow. I mean, why not? I know since I do have a lot of lid space, I try not to make it too light because it just makes my eyes look a little funny. So let me go in with this shade, this gunmetal shade, and just place that in the center. I know it's gonna be a hodgepodge of things, nothing going on, no rhyme or reason, just having fun here. Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna do. So let me take this off and I hope it has a straight line, yeah? Not bad. There is a little fallout, so what I'm gonna do is clean up. I'm gonna do my brows off camera. Actually, I'm not gonna do my brows now because I wanna put my foundation on first and I had to go get it. And the foundation that I'll be using is this one by Sisley, the Sislea La Tint Foundation. This is such a beautiful foundation, so I think it'll be perfect for this formal night event. And this is in the shade 4B Chestnut. So let me prime my face first, and this is also by Sisley, the Double Tint Sure. Beautiful primer too. Now, our daughter and her husband are coming, but our son and his fiance won't be able to make it. They're in Houston because they're gonna get married in Memorial Day. So they're doing some last minute things with the wedding. So we totally understand so they won't be joining us for wish night. They kind of wish that they were, but our daughter and her husband is coming. Christian and Gerda will be there. Oh, and the other primer that I'm using is this one by Smashbox, the Photo Finish Primer. For concealer, I'm gonna use the Lancome Tint Adol Concealer. And this is in the shade 420. You'd think I'd use this Sisley one, but I just wanna mix it up. And this concealer brush by BK Beauty, Love this brush. Very soft, it's not very poking, it spreads out the concealer beautifully. I love it so much that I went ahead and picked up two more. Yeah, I did. Now for the foundation. So I wonder what wish will be revealed tonight during the dinner. Because they usually bring a child and do a surprise wish reveal. I remember one year this child wanted to be a zoologist, so they brought in people from the Dallas Zoo and they made like a, oh gosh, what is it when you track animals? It's not a hunt, but I think they did it all day where they were trying to track this animal and it ended up being at the hotel where, you know, the wish night is at. And that is how they revealed the wish to this wish child. Okay, now for underneath my eyes, let's go back into the biredo with this one, Clay. And then let's go into Burnt Umber. Love this shade. Now let's go to the signature palette and to this black shade. Just kind of line underneath it. So now let me go ahead and do my brows off camera because that can be kind of boring. Went ahead and did everything else for my eyes, the mascara and the liners and the brows. And for the brows, I use these two products. This is by Shantikai, the Brow Definer in Oak Brown, and this Brow Gel by Suku, and I believe it's in the shade number one. And then for the liner, for the top of my lash line, I use the one by Tom Ford. Love this eyeliner pen, love it. And then for the lower lash line and the waterline, this pencil by Essence, like I've said many times, this is $4. And it stays in place, so I'm not gonna have to worry about during the middle of the night. If the eyeliner moves and forms like that eye booger in the corner of my eye. I'll have to worry about that with this pencil. Oh, and the mascara, this one by Shantikai, the Faux Sils mascara, and this one by Uma Beauty. Love these two together. Now let's go into bronzer. Let's bronze this up a little bit, and I'm using this one by Gucci in the shade number 04. And for blush, I'm going to use this one by Sisley, this beautiful blush, the 05 Rosewood. Such a beautiful shade, and I think it will look well with this eye look. And you just need one little dip, because this is very pigmented. And then for highlighter, this one by Chanel, the Rev de Camellia. Very pretty and very subtle. Don't want to be too overpowering here with my highlight. And let's add some on the apples of my cheek just to make it pop a little bit. And underneath my brows. See, how much time do I have left? It is 2.13 and there's Adam. That's the reason why we do for Make-A-Wish, to honor him and to honor Amanda too. I'm gonna wait an hour to do my hair because I want my hair to be fresh because it does kind of fall 
flat as the day wears on. So yeah, I'm gonna wait an hour and then I'll do my hair and then we'll apply lipstick and then I'll show you the dress and then we'll go from there. Maybe I could just sit here and talk with you guys. I know it's one way here, but see what else can I say about Make-A-Wish Foundation? I know in the past two years, those kids have been waiting, waiting a long time for their wishes to be granted, but they're so far are doing good. Usually before the families go on their wish trips, me and my wish partner, she's one of my best friends here in town. We do this together. We would do a send off party, be it at their favorite restaurant, their favorite place, and then we'll get them cake, balloons. We'll give them like a little backpack of things to take with them on the trip. And then we give the parents all the information and of course papers to sign, and then they're on their way. Now let me tell you about this one send off party. This one was, I think, one of the best. It was for a five year old boy. He wanted to go to Disney World. And so what we did for his send off, we did not tell him when he was going. We just said, you know, it's, it's coming, it's coming. And then I asked the mom, if you don't mind if we could do like a little surprise at the school. And she's a teacher at the school. So she said that would be great. So three days before he was supposed to go to Disney World, we showed up at the school. The school was in on it. They brought all his classmates into the auditorium. And then we came in with balloons and my magic wand. I don't have it with me here. It's in the bag in the next room. Oh my goodness. I have my magic wand. Then his class came in and then we did a little introduction and we brought him up to the front of the stage and we told them, you know, what was your wish? Can you tell the school what was your wish? And then we told them, well, let me get my magic wand here and boopity boopity boo. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's so fun. You are going to Disney World in three days. That was just so fun. The way how he jumped, he was so excited. And then we went to the library and we had a little party with cupcakes and pizza. It was just... It was just so fun, so magical. And my wish partner and I, we were going back home and it was, we were just on a high. It was just so fun. And the parents would send us pictures. So that was fun. So not all of them are Disney wishes, but I would say about 75 to 80% of my wish kids in my area are Disney wishes. All right, let me go ahead and wait a little bit, then do my hair and I'll come back and we'll do lipstick and go from there. I couldn't wait. So after 30 minutes, I said, let me go ahead and do my hair because I don't want to feel like I'm feeling rushed. So I went ahead and did my hair and I did pick out three lipstick shades, trying to figure out which one to use. One of them is by Chanel and two of them are by Charlotte Tilbury. Let me swatch the one by Chanel because of course I need a nude with this look. I don't want to be too overpowering between the eyes and the dress. Just need something light and simple. So this is Tinder Beige by Chanel, maybe a little too pink. And then this one is Yes Honey, it's in the kissing formula. I do like the kissing formula. And this one is more of a beigey nude. This is Yes Honey. And the other one is from the Red Lips collection or the Red Hot Lips or the Hot Red Lips. I can't remember. My memory is just shot right now. But this is Angel Alessandra. And here is what this one looks like. I know, I did my fingernails yesterday with the gel and this one already chipped. I was really upset when I saw that. I think either one of the Charlotte Tilbury ones would work. I think the one by Chanel may be too dark. I don't know, I think I kind of like Yes Honey. So let me go ahead and apply that. I still have some time, get a feel for it. And if it's too light, then I'll apply another one. Let me go ahead and line my lips. This is by Sisley in the shade Chocolate. This is one of my favorite lip pencils. What I like about this one is that it does have a brush on the other end, just to kind of blend that out. Soften it up a little bit. And let's go with Hey Honey. Let's try that. Is it too light? Maybe I need something a little bit deeper. Let's try the other one. Let's try the Angel Alessandra. Okay, I think this one will work. Yeah, I think the Angel Alessandra. Of course, by the time I put my dress on, the lipstick will be off. And maybe I might put the Chanel one on because I'm wiping the lipstick and the one by Chanel is still on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> so I know at least with this one, I'll have lip color. So I may do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's try that. If anything, I could use that as a base and then put lipstick over it. I think this one's better. At least I know that there'll be some color on my lips. So let me just let it dry. Okay, let me go ahead and put the lip gloss on. All right, here's the finished look. What do you think? Yeah, I think this lip by Chanel is a lot better. So I'll be taking this and this one with me in my little clutch. All right, this is the finished look minus the dress and my hair needs to be fluffed up a little bit more. I'm gonna wait and do that as the time gets closer. We still have an hour left before we need to leave. And then I'll show y'all the full video of everything on. Makeup, hair, dress, shoes, yeah. And hopefully I'll show some videos of some of the wish art that's there minus the kids. I don't wanna with the kids here. And I hope that this video wasn't too confusing because I do get a little rushed when I talk about 
Amanda and Adam. I just talk real fast because I just don't want to maybe think about it or don't want to make the other person you guys feel bad or feel sad. So that's why I always talk fast and then I just don't know what I'm saying. So I hope everything is not confusing in the beginning of this video when I talked about our kids. But I just don't want this video to be sad. I want it to be uplifted. But yeah, we are ready to have a night on the town and to see Christian and Garrett. Too bad Luke and Olivia can't be here, but hopefully next year. They're getting ready for their wedding and hopefully I'll be doing a get ready with me for the mother of the groom because that's going to be a different dress. So far the dress that I'm going to wear is bronze, kind of a bronze color. That's going to be an easy look to do because I love bronze eyeshadows. Just haven't found the shoes for it though. This dress, the blue one, I already have the shoes. All right, well, let me go ahead and relax a little bit, and then I'll come back and show you the dress. Got the dress on. I don't know if you can see the top part of it, but here are the sleeves, at least. <laughs> you can see that it's see-through. But I actually get to use my phone to take a full-length video of me wearing this dress. So here's the final look. Got my dress on. Got my shoes. Look at the shoes. They match perfect with the dress. But yeah, it has a side slit, and I love the color, and I love the fit. And it has these little petals all over the dress but yeah here's the final look so yeah that's the dress and the shoes the hair and makeup what do you think guys ready for wish night i think we are and i'll also post some pictures of what we were able to outbid everybody else if we did outbid anybody else <laughs> I do have my eye on one wish art and I hope we get it, but if not, no harm, no foul. This is one of the wish art that we got and I put it up against the full size bed so you can kind of get a scale of the size of this painting. It's huge. <laughs> and this one's called The Wave. And look at that. Look how this wish child painted this. And there's the volcano there. Incredible. And here's another wish art next to Zazzle's, of course. And I think our son wants this. And just look at the colors. And I think it goes this way because I believe those are the initials of the wish child. Just incredible what these kids could do. Very talented. And this one's called Umbrellas at the Beach. This is the one that I really wanted because I love the beach and this will be perfect for our place on the coast. Look at that. Look at the waves. And she even did it on the sides too. And this one is called the Flow Painting in Blues, Golds, and Whites. And I have to admit, when I first saw it, this kind of reminded me of Rodin's The Thinker. But look at that. That is so, so cool. And then this one is called the Fantasy Forest. And just look at the detail with this one. The bridge, the lilies in the water, the whipping willow, the clouds, the trees. This is just beautiful. And I already picked out a place for this and it's going right there. And on the other side, let me show it to you real quick. These we got at Wish Night maybe four years ago. Yeah, and isn't that beautiful too? And that works perfectly in this room. So the other one, Fantasy Forest will go over there. <laughs> so here are the wish art that we got from Wish Night. And there's Zazzle's too. Five wonderful paintings. And this one's huge. So yeah, I'll post pictures of what we were able to get during Wish Night. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this and hopefully do the mother of the groom look. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.